Good night, folks. This is Carlton from Carlton Strab Adventures. Another great day here in Medellin. Actually, it's a great day, but it's raining a little bit today. Well, almost all day, but still a great day. When walking, when it kind of eats up a little bit, get some uh, groceries. Anyway, this is a follow-up to my last video when I told you I'm trying to buy new glasses here in Medellin and how expensive it was at the sewer, sewer location. Industrialis. I, was like, I think it was like 566. It's a lot of money. Okay. Now, everybody said go to, go to El Centro, which I did. Um, before I start with this, I always try to bring you something new. Uh, a little tidbit before I start. So, this fruit here, discovered this fruit. I saw it downtown probably two weeks ago. And I asked this lady, uh, you know, what, what it was. It's a guava, G U A M M A. G-U-A-M-A, -A, guama. It's not very abundant, I was told. You don't see a lot of it. But I asked her, was it good to eat? She said, yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. It's sweet. Well, I tried it. At the end of the video, I'll tell you more about it. I won't waste my time here. Uh, but, I lose anybody. But, I tried it, it wasn't very sweet. She ate it, said it was good, but to me, she had a really large seed. Didn't like it. End of the video, I'll show you more about it. Okay, if you want to hang around, see that. Guama. Okay, so I went to the El Centro. There's a spot that one said to go to get this, you know, great deal of glasses. Let me conclude by saying, I'm going to have to wait for like the U.S. It's not, we're not very confident I get the same quality. And one of my YouTubers mentioned the quality he got in Mexico. It wasn't the same thing. I'm not confident. I think he might be right. I'm not confident I get the same quality or the same glasses I really want. Okay, so visited three locations downtown and different kind of quality looking place. One's really nice, fancy, and one's kind of in between, like 50th Street. And the one is kind of on the back street, kind of really small store, you know. Went to all three locations, it's an idea. And my conclusion is, man, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not confident I should buy it here. This is, a, this is the reason. All three stores, Try to convince me this was not <laughs> bifocal. That's a bad start for me. Took me right off, you know. I guess they don't see a lot of no line bifocal. This is a no line bifocal. It's a bifocal. You're saying no line there. It, 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 if, you, if you wear glasses, you know what I'm talking about. At my age, I need bifocals to see far and to read close. But they have them. It's a little extra. There's no line at all in it. Zero line. It's like a regular glasses. It's as an anti-scratch. It's um, where it changes color. Um, it goes, gets real dark. It's getting real, real dark in the sun. So I, I just gave them two items. You know, the um, the bifocals, no line bifocal. Gotta have that. I, I see a line. I'm too old with this line in your glasses, like an 80-year-old man. You know, um, and also transitional, which means it change. I said those two things I wanted, right? Didn't even mention no scratch. I just let that off. You know, I figured I'd do it later on. So this is the price without no scratch. These are minimal scratch, no scratch. And after two years, you can barely see one or two scratches in it. If you don't, like the guy said, one of my two YouTubers said, if you, if you get the regular glasses, get all scratched up. Especially if I use them towards the ocean. You know, I get a lot of salt in them, you know, salt, fine salt. Sometimes, you know, you come from the ocean, you walk in the ocean, it's all messed up, so you wipe it, that's all, tears it up. You know, you say, you should do that, but sometimes you can't help it. With the no-scratch lenses, it prevents that. Big, big difference. Before I got enough of the scratch, the regular lenses, to be all scratched up after six months, okay? So I didn't even mention that. All three spots I went to, this was not my focal. No, 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 it can't be. No, uh, I said, it is bifocal. I said, no, it's sin linea, the line bifocal. They had to keep looking, 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 like it's not bifocal, you sure? Oh, God. I said, yes, it is. Look really hard, put it on the machine, but it's bifocal. When you start with that, I'm saying, that I'm saying that people here just don't get the no line bifocal. It probably costs too much. If they can't, it's something simple in the States. Okay? That's one conclusion I drew. Kind of threw me right off. Okay? Then, 
they all look at it and they're kind of perplexed. If I sound a little weird or like I'm not sure what I'm talking about, it's because it was a weird experience. You know, I was hearing a young, young lady that spoke Spanish, and I knew enough Spanish. I'm not, you know, I know Spanish enough, and I also use my translator. Know that they're when they're, when they're acting a certain way and talking a certain way, I know exactly what's happening. They're totally confused. They're saying first thing, and they all said it. Oh, we don't have this type of lens here. I'm going, damn, this this lens, this type of lens. No, this is a high quality lens. I'm going, oh crap, it's not good. And they're looking around back and forth in the books and so forth. And going, I said, high quality. It's a lens. I mean, I guess I don't know enough about lens. It's like high quality lens, and I'm not sure we have the same lens here. The first spot was 1,250 without the uh, frame. Frame's about 40 to 70,000 pesos, pence, so it's not bad, you know. Um, it's just, it was a bad experience, you know. I think they don't have these kind of quality lens here. Because even the fancy place, real nice place, you know, doctors there, really, really, like a lens crafter, a really nice place. Same thing, she got it, and she, she look, keep looking at it, put it on the machine, and she's going, well, we don't have this type of, I'm going, I said, this type of lens? I said, it's just a lens. Don't, ain't the difference just the bifocal and the transitional? And she goes, no, 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 and she started, your prescription, too, is a very, you know, he wants a 4D, and he wants a good, all this stuff on the prescription, and they were confusing the hell out of me, you know? So the first spot was $1,250,000. The other spot, a really fancy place. She tried to, took me, got about 25 minutes to get, she could call the lab, all kind of stuff. She went next door, she tried to explain to the girl with me that, you know, you, you know, you know, like you have, you know, a, a, a cell phone that's a S6, S7, S10, you know, well, you know, we, 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 this is like an S10, but, you know, we can give it like S6, does the same job. You keep asking me, do you read a lot? Read a lot. It's, it's, you know, if you don't read a lot, you know, we can give you this, and she's going on and on and on, back and forth. I'm going, why is this so confusing? It's a simple prescription, you know? So it's just, I was just weird, weirded out a little bit. I keep telling her, I'm totally confused. Was it not the same as... What I'm worried about is, no, you can't change the prescription. I read a lot. I'm on a computer a lot. So don't change the prescription. That's not the solution. Well, you know, we just don't have this right here, this type of lens here. It's just going on and on. You know, we have this one, this name. She told me the name. I forgot what it was. I didn't write it down, I think. And she's going on to this stuff. And she, she find it. Yeah, this is her note. You probably can't read it, you know. And she said, um, it's really close to it. And this is 800,000 800, pesos, right? Um, that's 266. So I'm coming down from 1,250,000, 1, that's 460 in the first spot. Second spot, well, I'm not confident. Second spot, that price, 266. That's in the US. That's without frames. She didn't seem very confident. She took a lot of energy, a lot of time. One time she went away. She's gonna call somebody. She's here for a long time. Came back and try to explain these things here. Who wrote it all down? You know, Virilox and this, PHYSIO and Transition and Septima, is he PT Septima? Generation and she's right now anti reflex. So and she's putting this stuff down. And I'm just not convinced it's what I want. You know, I'm just nervous to uh, to, to buy it now. And she said, man, it's very close to the quality of what I have. I said, it's only a glass. I mean, I'm trying to explain, okay, I don't want glass. I'm trying to explain to her, she mean, this is glass. I said, oh, no, no, here goes again, no. I mean, I don't want glass lens. She said, but this is your glasses. I'm going, oh, no. I said, you can have glass or, you know, glass is really heavy. The lens can be glass and really heavy. Or it can be plastic. She said, no, it's not plastic. I said, it's not glass. Glass would be weigh a ton. It's a real light. See, it's light. And she keep, when I say glass, she would think I'm referring to like glasses. I'm trying to refer to that. I don't want the lens to be glass. I want them to be 
I get, you know, I call it plastic, but I think it's polycarbonate or whatever, you know. Uh, and I'm, I finally say, okay, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. It's not getting through, you know. Because um, if I show glass, glass lens are really, really heavy, all right. So I pay extra, and these are, I guess they're polycarbonate, I think that's the correct terminology, but I call it plastic, and they're light, okay. I want to make sure I get that. So I'm just kidding, if I order this thing, it's going to come, not going to be what I want, Gonna be, you know, I'm just going to waste my money, you know. So the, uh, the third place, we took it around to the corner, kind of see by the park, this big park downtown, kind of city neighborhood, you know, place where all the glasses are, and got this one real small store. So I just showed them the actual receipt from the last place and told them what we needed. And he said, oh, you can do it for seven, seven fifty, all right, seven fifty. So he came down off that. I'm trying to say, well, so you know, so you beat it. You haven't beat that 750. So <laughs> that's 250 US. Okay? So I'm going from, you know, still rep 566, the one spot 416, the second really nice spot 800,000, which is 266, the last spot 750,000, which is 250. I'm just not convinced. I'm gonna get what I want, you know. This is fine. I want him to try a new frame because uh, I had it two years now. But doctor said this is fine. The new prescription he gave me was actually a lot sharper, which I would I would love to have that. But I just don't want to waste my money. It comes not what I want. I didn't even mention the anti anti scratch. That didn't come up yet. That was such a problem with the first two, and then when I had the third issue in there, you know. So I'm after the wait. Maybe I go to the states and, and by June, July or something for a couple of weeks and order it there. Take a prescription from here, order it there, and wait for five days to get it back like, a, you know, really left crafters or whatever. So that's, that's the experience, guys. If it sounds a little disjointed or it sounds like I know what I'm talking about, it's because, yeah, I am confused myself. It's not, I'm not having a bad day, I didn't smoke something. It's just very confusing working with, uh, you know, these people this lens play. So, lens is just a, a tough experience for me. Glasses and lens, really, really difficult. All right, guys? Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, hope it helped a little bit. Maybe it didn't help. Get glasses in the U.S. That's my suggestion, okay? All right. Anyway, there's a video coming up about this plant called a guama, if you want to check it out, all right? Thanks. Have a good day. Just hit, last night hit 200 subscribers. We'd be, no big deal for most people, but for me, eh, I'm not doing a video every week, every week, every week, once a week. So it's a milestone. See you later. In El Centro walking around, I saw this weird looking fruit. What's the name? Guanama. Guanama? No, no. What's the name? Canombre. 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 Huh? Uh, she forgot the name. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so my YouTube. So now it, it's like this. You pick one out and you eat it. But you say it was very good, but it wasn't very good to me. It just actually tastes pretty uh, bad to me. But you eat the white stuff off the, uh, the white pulp off the seed. It's a huge seed. Eat the white stuff off it. To me, it wasn't very good. I won't try it again though, but she liked it.